Welcome, and welcome to the delegation of our friends from architecture and the Naval schools, and we oblige them to come to this meeting, and they're super happy to come and listen to this conference. I'll say yes, please. Okay. Um, well, Lorenzo Damiani, Giovanna Castiglioni, will the title of the meeting of tonight. Uh, it was called Senza Stile, and it was a exhibition held during the Salone del Mobile at the Design Week at the Foundation Studio Museum, and she's a founder of the museum, Giovanna Castiglione. Well, uh, Lorenzo Damiani is a friend of the school, because uh, we can say we know him and follow him since a very long time. We're super happy he's here right now. Uh, and he has studied here in a master course a few years ago. And I say a friend of the school uh, in 1999. And with him, it will be definitely a pleasure to speak about his works and about his design. It's, uh, well, let me just say a special design which has to be understood and spoken about immediately and really well. Um, it has a lot of uh, contact with and links with a master like Achille Castiglione. This is the reason why, in the sort of elective affinity that has been created between time, between a meeting uh, that has occurred between a teacher and the scholar, uh, well, they have created one of the best exhibitions that were held during the Salone del Mobile. To speak about this topic, let me just show you a video which lasts two minutes, which was done by Francesca Montini on the exhibition, the actors of this exhi exhibition. So if you haven't seen it, you can understand the soul of this project. There is a technical problem, just a second. Okay. Thank you. 
this, for those of you who haven't seen it, well, was just the, uh, an idea of what occurred during the exhibition. It was a very nice exhibition that was putting together uh, this ping pong between the design and the works of Achille Castiglione and the design and the ideas and certain objects done by Lorenzo, it's all present in one unique magic place that you all know about, which is the Castiglione studio. When did you meet Achille Castiglione? Uh, wow, what a question. I mean, when did I really meet him? Um, when I was studying in university, or maybe before? Because, no, no, actually, he has never been my teacher. Well, I actually remember that I had, well, I studied in Polytechnico, and uh, I remember he used, because when I used to study in Polytechnico, he was not a teacher anymore. Um, but I remember that, uh, I think it was a master course, or he came uh, in my class to do a lecture and um, with all his objects. And there were so many people, you know, I just uh, listened to the lecture from outside the door of the classroom. I mean, I didn't really hear much and didn't see very much. Uh, and. Um, when I wrote my thesis, I had the, the luck to go to his studio, meet him for like an hour or just a few hours more, and then I met Giovanna as well. And, and with Giovanna, well, and then we'll let uh, Lorenzo speak about his works, and with uh, Giovanna, this exhibition originally, right, which will be the first of a several, right, uh, on a format which is dedicated to opening the studio to new designers, or designers, new designers, but designers, in theory of designers which are maybe close to what uh, is the location of the place in the studio. Definitely that has been an incident which has been pretty fascinating for the foundation because opening our doors of, a, of our studio for those of you who came and visit you know what I'm talking about it's full of objects of Castiglione not only also anonymous objects and inserting in this place in this location some objects of a designer has a logic, a sense, an affection towards his projects and his design objects. It's not so easy to do an exhibition in the future. I mean, uh, for sure, the foundation nowadays is definitely working to open its doors to the young and the less young designers. The importance is that they're curious designers. Um, correct? Uh, what do you mean less young? I mean, am I between the less young? Yes, we're so tired of speaking about these young designers. You're a young designer. Well, we met speaking about young designers. What this thing, young designer? Are you a young designer or not a young designer? What does young designer mean? Do you have an age to design? And since my father died when he was 83 years old and he was still super young until the end, I must say to speak about young and old, we shouldn't ever speak about that, especially in design. And uh, projects and, uh, need to be timeless, need to remain in our hearts and our minds and uh, in our hands for very many years. You don't need a young designer, who cares? Uh, the, the challenge of our foundation will be that of opening our doors to uh, people, let's call them like this, that have the will of inserting themselves and they're in those four rooms that you've seen like, full and packed with objects Lorenzo entered in tippy toes because he's definitely a gentleman uh, since he's from Lombardy and he has his under, he's understated and just tippy toed inside. I mean, I'm not saying this just because he's here. Of course, there's this feeling between him and Castiglione, and we will show you through through his design, through his presentation. Now, you will see the feeling is there with this title that you have chosen without a smile, and uh, it works so perfectly. I mean, the lecture needs to have this title. There's no title. Let's give. The, the word to learn to them, yeah, and then we will interrupt him in time. And you have to do that as well, because the purpose of all this is to do things all together.
Well, first of all, I must say that it's a, a memory that I have of when I went to speak with uh, Giovanna's father. Well, I was uh, 23, 24 years old, and I was realizing I was facing a person that physically was definitely older than me, but in terms of mind and thoughts, I mean, he was much younger than me. He was definitely much quicker and smarter. And, uh, just to go back with the, the the conversation regarding about young designers and not, I mean, it makes no sense to speak about young designers. And speaking about the title, uh, without style, well, it's uh, an idea of Giovanna, and I've liked it immediately. And and. Well, this uh, we were playing with this idea of the, the ambiguity of the title without style. I prepared a presentation to show you what has been the display and the design of the exhibition itself. And I have divided, just like I usually do, uh, several projects into um, different families just to describe them a bit better, just according to the projectual approach that I have used. Well, here there are a few images of the exhibition itself, where there are some objects that I will describe later on. Before we were speaking about the uh, tippy-toeing inside this Castellano studio, well, I have worked in a very natural manner. I mean, besides the fact that we definitely have a, a, a tuning, we have the same kind of ideas on how to do everything, but uh, I believe it was, I mean, I took that for granted. Being in a place like that, uh, I mean, I, I did this in a very um, typical manner. And um, I think you can really tell this. I mean, there's a various images of. Uh, now, I'm not telling you everything, because later on I will focus on the different projects. The only image which is actually missing later on is this uh, um, tap. Well, this is still a prototype. Uh, well, actually, it was what was presented during the Salone del Mobile, done for Ceramicas Flaminia, that I will explain later on very quickly. What I want to explain to you, for example, is this project, because all the objects displayed uh, at the Castiglione Museum well, are some objects that I had and I brought into this place to show and exhibit. But uh, when I entered the bathroom the first time, the first thing I saw immediately was the floor the floor of the bathroom, I mean, the, of the toilet, because it was and it is fantastic. It's like a natural chessboard made of black and white uh, uh, tiles. And at, I had just this idea to just uh, do a, a, like a sort of game, something that playful, an object that does not have any sense if it's moved somewhere else. And in fact, they want to keep this, and they want to keep this, and this is a present for me in the sense that it's nothing else but a frame. Do you see this frame? Okay, this frame that detached from the uh, wall and positioned on the floor transforms the place, the architecture, into an object. And therefore, I like this possibility of interacting with the place and the object designed. Well, and then there's all see the, the, the chess pieces that are just there inside the frame. Beside the shape, I will, I'd like you to see the relation between the object and the space. And this is the only object that was designed just for the exhibition itself.